Is life insurance a good investment? Now I've been getting a lot of questions on insurance because it is part of your financial plan. You see, since at a very young age, I've always had an insurance policy because I always want to make sure that my mom is protected and taken care of if knock on wood that anything happens to me. Now also at the time, I was in debt. I was heavily in debt because of all my business failures. So I want to make sure if anything happens to me that my mom wouldn't have to worry about that debt, that we would have enough money to cover that. Now insurance could be very, very confusing and if you have any other questions, you should always consult with an insurance professional, but be very, very careful because sometimes a lot of insurance people, they're just salespeople. You want to consult with a professional who actually knows what they're talking about. So any questions, always consult with a professional. For now, I want to give you my perspective and educate you on a little bit about the different types of insurance. Now, the two major types of insurance out there, one is called permanent life insurance, one is called term insurance. Let's talk about permanent life insurance first. Now, in case you get confused, it's actually very, very simple. The word permanent, that should give you a clue. It is an insurance policy that covers your entire life permanent, right? Now, there are a few advantages to permanent life insurance. The first one is tax deferred growth. For permanent life insurance, you build up the cash value over a period of time, then you can borrow against it without paying taxes because essentially it is a loan. Maybe you need that money to, to buy something. Maybe it's for your kid's tuition. You could do that. Benefit number two, you don't lose your coverage after a set number of years as long as you keep paying the premiums. In fact, that's one of the key kind of advertising benefits that you see from a lot of the permanent life insurance ads and infomercials and commercials that you will see that sometimes, in some cases, it covers up to age 120 years old until you get very, very old, as long as you keep paying the premiums. Benefit number three, you get accelerated benefit. Now, what does that mean? It means that you don't necessarily have to wait till you pass away to get the full benefit from the permanent life insurance. Example, let's say now you're a little bit older and you have certain type of illness that you could take some of the money out and take advantage of a few things where it pays for your medical bills. Sometimes it's up to 25%, 30%, 40%, even up to a 100% so that you can still enjoy a good quality of life in your final years. Now the downside of that is then your beneficiary would probably re receive less than the full benefit, but you will be able to use some of that money upfront for yourself. So that's permanent life insurance. Let's talk about term insurance. So for term insurance, you're basically buying insurance for a term. It's not permanent. It doesn't cover your entire life. And all your monthly payment, all your premium goes towards uh, the death. If something happens to you, all of that benefit goes to your beneficiary. It is that simple. So for your term insurance, it doesn't have the cash value component and it doesn't have the, the investment component. So is life insurance a good investment? So here's my recommendation. If you are ones with basic financial needs and you don't have a lot of financial assets, complicated financial assets to, to protect, then permanent life insurance probably is not something that you need. Term insurance, on the other hand, is something that you would want to consider because it protects your family and the ones that you love. You shouldn't consider that as an investment. It's really just a way for you to protect your family in case knock on wood, something happens to you. You're not paying like a huge premium, right? Because that's not the goal. You're not gonna get rich with your insurance policy. It's simply a way for you to protect your family. However, if you have more financial assets and you have a business, you have other things, then you may want to consult with a professional, then maybe permanent life insurance makes more sense for you. That's my take. So comment below if this makes sense, if it helps you to, to get more educated in terms of 
how insurance works and how this fits into your overall picture. And don't think that you are too young to talk to an insurance advisor. I talked to my insurance advisor when I was 20 some odd years old. So don't wait till that, oh, I'm 50, I'm 60, because that's too late. And then your premium would be so expensive. Start early, start young, don't wait, right? You won't even feel it because that money will be deducted from your account and you don't have to think about it. And then you will have that peace of mind.